Hi, and welcome to another Fishing Tales adventure. Today, I'm going to answer a question that many people keep asking. What are the best conditions for bass? So in true Fishing Tales fashion, I'm going to go through the how, the where, and the when. And in this case, the where is far less important than the when. So let's have a little look right after this. So the where is far less important than the when. Where can be anywhere. Bass love estuaries, they love rocks, they love surf beaches. And as long as it's clear water, you can pretty much fish for them on lures. And I'm going to show you today what I think are perfect conditions. We need a spring tide, high tide that evolves around about dawn or dusk, and a good wind that's onshore. That is the most important factor. You can be casting long distances with the wind behind you, but I guarantee you, you will probably catch one tenth of the amount of bass that you will when that wind is blowing in your face. You'd look at the surf and you think, there is no way there's gonna be bass there. There's no way I can cast there. But you only have to lob a lure out a few yards and we'll show you, because we've already been catching fish this morning, to prove that fact that at five yards you'll catch more bass than you can at a hundred yards. Yeah, got a miss. Whoa! Right under my feet. Now, I'm going to talk about lures, I'm going to talk about techniques, and one thing I always like to say, keep it simple, you don't need expensive lures, you don't need to learn fancy techniques, and I'm going to talk to you about the lures that I use, and I will show you that these lures catch fish, no expensive lures, no fancy techniques, yes I'm wearing waders, that is purely for my own comfort. Let me quickly talk about my gear. So I'm using my trusty Shimano Sedona. I've already done a review of that. I'm using my Major Craft Triple Cross EU Custom Bass, which is my favorite bass rod. It's a little bit expensive. It's about 200 pound, maybe a little bit more. But Gavin, he's using a Fladden Maximus Nano Lure Rod, three-piece lure rod. It's about half the price of this rod, but he's catching equally as many fish as I am. My line is 15 pound nanofill, and this is where I say you either use nanofill or you use braid, because having the feel with the lures is really, really important. So, let's talk about lures, and I mentioned earlier, you don't need expensive lures. Today, my favorite lure has been Savage Gear Sand Deal in Pearl White, and actually, this is normally my go-to lure, especially when it's rough. The other lures that I use are the Sandy Andy, 
in a sandy or color, strangely enough. Um, today hasn't worked quite as well because there's a little bit of color in the water, but when conditions are a bit clearer, the Sandy Andy outfishes the Savage Gear White. If I'm feeling a little bit venturous and I've caught plenty of bass, like I have done today, I will switch to a surface lure like a Pachenko, or in this case, this is a Savage Gear Panic Prey. A lot of people think in these conditions, you can't surface lure fish. You can, and actually it can be very beneficial because you can hold the lure just behind the surf and make it alive, give it plenty of action. And when you see a strike on the surface lure, there's nothing beats it. Big splash, fish takes, lots of fun. And the other lure that I use is the fish black minnow. Again, today that hasn't been so successful. And the reason it hasn't been successful is because it's very simply, there's so many bait fish around, when the bass hit this, if they don't hit it and take it in one hit, they just go on to the next bait fish. That's why a single hook is working far better today. They hit that and they get hooked up. With this, they have to hit it a little bit harder and then take line. But there's so many bait fish out there, they'll just take anything and then move on to the next victim. So let's talk about casting technique and fishing the lure. Because it's windy, there's no good putting a nice high cast in the air because the wind will pick the line and it'll reduce the distance. You don't have to get very far. Most of the fish you'll find will come between 10 and five yards. In fact, today I've had several fish literally as they're about to pick the lure out the water. This is the conditions that they thrive in and this is where you're going to get most of your fish. And by doing a side cast and skimming the waves, you're cutting down on that resistance. As soon as it hits the water, I take up the slack and I start winding. I don't let the lure sink. If I let it sink too much, it catches the bottom. I like to fish it around mid-water in the top part of the water column. There's no fancy techniques required. Just cast the lure, retrieve at a nice steady pace. If the bass hits and it doesn't hook up, just keep winding at the same pace, it will have it again. Normally they take it first time, but sometimes it can take three or four hits before they actually take it.
wow what a session thoroughly enjoyed it i don't know how many fish we had between myself and gavin probably well over 40 fish a lot of them were undersized but it was still a lot of fun to catch had a couple of keepers some nice mackerel you can't ask for any more in a session if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe we'll make some more videos and we'll see you again the next time